All right, I got just one for you, Will. Huge cat found etched into desert in into desert. <laughs> wait, wait, stop, uh, stop reading. What do you think about that? What do I think about it? Yeah. What do you mean? Just like what is thoughts? It? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Someone was bored. <laughs> just decided to draw a, a cat. What if I were to tell you that that cat is from 200 BC? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't read this part. This is the subheading. Wow, that cat is from 200 BC. Yeah. That's crazy. This is an area in Peru where they have found all kinds of drawings in what in these lines, Nazca lines, and this is just the most recent one, which is almost completely eroded, and then they fixed it up. But this. They used to do this as a form of art in, uh, well, a long time, 200 or 100 BC. And it's a big etching. Huge. Yeah. So uh, they so were, the they, they're called hill. geoglyphs. And also in the area, there's a hummingbird, a monkey, an orca, and a figure that some believe is an astronaut, which mm. that's a cool idea. Imagine... If it was actually an astronaut drawing from 200 mm. BC, you now you gotta ask some questions. Willie Do starts going down the rabbit holes. The meme is the Illuminati. Everything. 2001. Yeah, everything happens after that. So anyway, this thing was wear was wearing away, and then they brushed a few things aside, and they were like, "Oh my God, this engraving. There's an engraving here. We gotta protect this. Put defense around it, and everything else, because uh, th this one we didn't even see, which is a giant, this giant uh, cat." Which is what's the scale of it? I had it said somewhere what the scale of it was. Uh, like it's on the side of a hill. That's yeah, how big it is. Yeah, it's hill. It's the size of the side of a hill. But it's. I thought it said how long it was somewhere. Anyway, it's enormous. And they're on the coastal plain. They're 250 miles south of Lima and cover 450 square kilometers of Peru's coastal plain. The figure was scarcely visible and was about to disappear because of the steep slope that it was situated on. They cleaned it up, conserved it. The cat is 37 meters long. Wow. 37 meters long. It's so wild. So they've got, I don't know, they've got like eight between 80 and 100 figures now. People were just out there doing art. Well, we'll do art. Yes. And it's that's it's amazing, man. It looks like it looks like my drawing. If you ask me to draw a cat, it would look exactly like that. Yeah? Yes, it would. Yeah. If you ask me to draw a cat right now, that's what it would look like. If I had a limited amount of time and, and I could do it on paper instead of the side of a mountain. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's it would look very, like. very uh, symbolic. Although I wonder what, maybe we should do a quick little a quick little investigation here. Okay. What is that cat? Which cat is it? What cat? Uh, maybe a mountain lion? Peru, Peru, 200 BC, which cat, which, uh, what cats live, oh, there you go, wait, those are domesticated cats, did they have domesticated cats in 200 BC, no, uh, I don't think, I don't know, maybe, a leopard, Leopard. It, it looks, it doesn't look very jungly over there. Big, big cats that live in Peru. Ocelot, Margay, Jaguar, Cougar. You're, oh, Cougar. Probably a Cougar. Oh. I think you might have nailed it, Will, on your first go. You think so? Yeah, uh, P Puma. Puma. Oh. Will he do? I think it might be. I mean, it could be a jaguar too, because you're not gonna do all the spots and everything. Yeah. And also, the ears look more cougary. Yeah, with the pointed up. Man, imagine, imagine guy like you, 200 BC, hmm. and 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 you encounter a puma, a cougar. Rough times, man. Well, you're man. you're you're gonna draw it as a warning for everyone else. Yeah, while while it's eating me. You keep an eye out yeah. for the for this thing. This yeah. is a rough time. I'm going to draw this on the side of the mountain real quick. Yeah, it's tough.